In our Health Watch report, babies born too early are often hospitalized for weeks or months, and specialized neonatal intensive care units are NICUs. Now, a cutting edge system is helping the tiniest patients thrive in an environment much like the one they just left. Local 3 Shelly Botot has more. One in 10 babies in the United States will be born before 36 weeks, and those born before 32 weeks may face serious health problems. But a new system is helping premature babies adjust. Little Remy Joliffe came into the world at 24 weeks, five days, three and a half months before she was due. She was coming out whether we were ready or not. Remy weighed just one pound, six ounces. Just complete devastation. NICU nurse manager Michael O'Brien has cared for hundreds of preemies over 25 years. Advent Health in Orlando is now the first in the country to test an innovative system that in some ways stimulates a mother's womb. It's a high-tech isolate called Baby Leo. These tiny babies have no fat at all to keep them warm. It's a little um, um, device um, that lays on the baby's skin. It's like a thermometer and uh, a little sticker goes over it, keeping it on the baby's skin, and it goes into the isolate. That way, a computer system constantly monitors the baby's temperature, keeping him at 98.6 by automatically turning on and off warmers in the crib. The baby Leo also gently mists sterile water to adjust the humidity. Remember, the premature baby was floating in amniotic fluid inside the mother, and their skin is not ready yet to be out in the dry, dry air. The Jolifs take comfort knowing Remy is getting specialized care. It takes away some of the trauma from her early delivery. Think of it as they just couldn't wait to meet you. <laughs> That's what we tell ourselves. She just was so excited to meet her mom and dad. So She couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Before the baby Leo, NICU nurses would have to manually adjust warmers in the isolates to ensure preemies stayed at normal body temperature. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelly Botot, Local 3 News.